Hello, group three students. We are moving on to another section. It's called uh, continued ratio. Um, now, it might get confusing because there's going to be so many ratios in front of you. But basically what's happening is if you can connect a letter with the same number, then you can combine them a single ratio. X, Y, Z will be two, three, five. Okay, so I'll probably explain this in class. Uh, let's just straight up go to a question. Now, over here, your calculator cannot save you, so I'm so sorry. You have to go the traditional way. So the traditional way is figuring out what can you divide all the numbers with. I'm going to try, um, um, not 4, 2. Okay, 48 divided by 2 is 24. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 72 divided by 2 is 36. And then think about, can I further divide it with a number? Yes, 24 divided by 3. 8, 9 divided by 3, 3, 36 divided by 3 is 12. Now make sure that you're dividing everything with the same number. Okay, I'm skipping steps, but uh, that's basically how we do it. Oh no, you guys are so screwed. Okay, so over here, you need to figure out the LCM for 5, 3, and 2 and multiply that for everything. Whew, this is gonna be tough for you guys. Now, the easiest one would probably be five times three times two. So five times three times two is 30. We'll multiply 30 to all the numbers so that we can get rid of the fraction. Four over three times 30. Is there an easier way to do this? And then one over two times 30, okay? So try to calculate this separately. 2 times 30 divided by 5 is 12. 4 times 30 divided by 3 is 40. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then we just go on with our method. See if we can divide with a number. Apparently, we cannot. All of them. These two can divide by 2, but this one can't. These two can for divide by 3, but the 40 cannot. Okay, so we'll stop there. Now, when you're faced with this question, you got to change them to the same um, unit. KM is the, the outlier or the odd one out. So I'm going to change 0.5 KM to meters. You have to multiply 1,000. It's going to be 500 meters. So once the unit is the same, you can actually remove the unit to save some ink. Figure out what can you divide for all of them. I'll divide 10. 500 divided by 10 is 50. Basically, you just remove one zero from all of them. So we have 50, 5, 30. And then I can divide 5. This will be 10. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So most likely you can't divide it more because we have a 1 here. And that's the final answer. All right, so that's the first part. Uh, so I might be asking me, how about the decimals, right? Good question. So let's handle the decimal here. Now, decimal, you change it to fraction, and that's how you're going to handle it. So put 2.5 in your calculator, change to fraction 5 over 2, shift ABC. So you got to put 2.5, enter, and then shift ABC. Then 1.25, enter, shift ABC, 5 over 4. 1.5, enter, shift ABC, 3 over 2. Okay, and then we got to remove the fraction. I will multiply 4 to all of them. Um, let me just write it for you. Sorry, I'm rushing because I'm really in a rush. 5 times 4 divided by 2 is 10. And then this will be 5. 3 times 4 divided by 2 is going to be 6. And then you cannot divide any more numbers. So we stop there. That's how you handle decimals, most likely. I'll see if I can figure out another way. There's probably an easier way, hopefully. So hopefully I can get an easier way. Okay, moving on. So over here, we need to connect the numbers with... Uh, with a letter that is the same. So we can see that blue is more. C is going to be used to connect the numbers. What we're going to do is A, B, C every time. And then put the combination. So we have 9, P, 
PC. B is, uh, B is now here, so we have C, which is 4. Then for the next combination, we have 13, and then we got 4. Now, your goal is to make the same letter's number the same. If it's the same already, you can combine them directly. So 9, 13, and 4. That will be your answer. A, B, C equals this. Okay, let's find a question where it's not the same. Uh, like this one over here. So, again, A, B, C. B, 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 C, and then A. So I'm going to put the first uh, combination, 5 and 1. The second one is 10 and 7. So our goal is to make B the same because B has two numbers, right? We are going to try to multiply one ratio with a number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, I'm going to change 1 into 10. Usually make it larger. So I'm going to change 1 to 10. I'm going to multiply times 10 here. Maybe write it here, times 10, times 10. And see what we get. So we're going to get uh, 5 times 10 is 50. This will be 10. Then we have 10 here, 7, right? And finally, you have 50, 10, 7. A, B, C. Okay? And that's how you do the question. So most likely, these are the only uh, questions you will face. Sometimes, there are more complicated ones like... I'll go with this one here. No more color coding. A, B, C, 1, 8, B, C, 5, uh, 1. Sometimes they go A, C, uh, be careful. It's not always A, B first. So I'm going to make this one the same. Let's see how we're going to make it the same. So 8 and 5, the LCM is... If you cannot find the LCM, you just multiply the two numbers. 8 times 5 is 40. So we're going to change 8 to a 40 times 5. Make sure you times 5 the whole row. And then we're going to change 5 into a 40. So times 8, times 8. See what we get. So 1 times 5 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8. So finally, you have 5, 40, 8. And that is A, B, C. Okay, so that's how you do the questions over here. That's it. Um, hopefully, you got it. Sorry, I kind of rush. Have to go and have to leave school. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.